from DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode's brought to you by the audiobook Inside the Mirrors by Jason R. Davis. Hear a free sample and support Marlar House by downloading the audiobook for yourself at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. A man was arrested after he walked around a Walmart store in Temp, Arizona, naked and carrying illegal drugs. When officers arrived, the man had moved across the street from the Walmart wearing only a pair of shoes. Well, I, I guess we know what he bought at Walmart then, huh? A disturbing question, though, where does this guy keep his wallet? In Arlington, Texas, a suicidal man who had doused himself in gasoline became engulfed in flames after a police officer used a stun gun on him. To protect and to serve. Medium rare. Five king cobra snakes were seized by U.S. Customs and Border Protection agents during a recent inspection of an express mail container at New York's JFK Airport. Yeah, hello, headquarters. Yeah, this is the agent in charge of JFK. Uh, we need you to get Samuel L. Jackson down here, stat! Two weeks after the new legalization laws kicked off in Nevada, stores are running out of pot, prompting Governor Brian Sandoval to endorse the Department of Taxation's Statement of Emergency, which would allow for more licensed distributors. <laughs> That's right. It's now officially a state of emergency if you run out of pot. Tuesday was 7-Eleven's 90th birthday. However, technically speaking, those hot dogs on the grill were only 87. North Korea sure knows how to celebrate the successful launch of their first intercontinental ballistic missile. By order of Kim Jong-un himself, they put on a big concert replete with pop music and thunderous applause. Among the musical numbers performed were Song of Hosong Rocket and Make Others Envy Us. Yay! North Korean missiles! The musical! President Trump's first meeting with Queen Elizabeth has been pushed off until next year. My guess is that's as much as she could get away with at the time. Just a warning for you, fake Nintendo Classic Edition consoles have been popping up on eBay. One clue to if it's a fake is to see if the word classic is spelled with a K. Black China has been granted a restraining order against her ex, Rob Kardashian. You know what? I, I love this idea. We should all file for a restraining order against anyone named Kardashian. A dog has been reunited with its owners after spending nine months, including winter, in the mountains of Idaho. The dog had taken off for the hills when it was initially named in a federal investigation of organized trash can tippings. Longtime puppeteer and voice of Kermit the Frog, Steve Whitmire, is reportedly no longer involved with the Muppets. A guy named Matt Vogel will be the new voice for Kermit the Frog. Oh, okay, so so Steve is just not doing the voice anymore. Okay, I, I was fully expecting to hear he had croaked. Former American Idol contestant Haley Reinhardt was arrested early Saturday following an altercation at a bar outside Chicago. I'm told she was singing karaoke and was arrested for making terrorist threats. The key to turning a dairy cow into a cash cow is happiness. Give her a bigger stall, increase air circulation, and provide some shelter to prevent overheating. That's according to a University of Wisconsin study that focuses on making dairy cows happier so they provide more milk. So if you are the husband of a new baby mom, be sure to give your wife a bigger stall. Please support my channel by sharing the Daily Dose of Weird News on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social networks. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!